my first question was, why on earth are we targeting Oregon voters? Isn't Oregon a deep blue state? And I was told, no, it is not in fact a deep blue state. It is a pale blue state, or my own thinking is maybe it's blue dots on the background, but it's certainly not a state where uh, we can just take it for granted that Democrats will win because the issue is voter turnout.
that we don't like to have these, you know, these expensive federal programs. Actually, since the Democrats reformed the student financial aid program and stop subsidizing banks and we're making direct loans, taxpayers are making money by giving low interest rates to young people to get a better education. The Republicans want to undo that and Ryan's budget would do that. But huge increases in the military budget in the Ryan that Ryan has. You know, I offered uh, last year uh, an amendment on the floor of the House that passed, we kind of stuck up on him, I did do it with a conservative Republican from New Jersey, to require the first ever audit of the Pentagon. You know, every year, every agency of government has to be audited, and the total general fund government adds up to about $600 billion, all those many, you know, dozens and dozens of agencies and hundreds of programs. And the Pentagon is a little more than $600 billion. All these programs have to be audited. The Pentagon is unauditable and has never been audited and has been exempted by law since 1993 for being audited. And yet Paul Ryan says they need more money. So it will devastate the domestic programs, will increase the military, we don't even know, what, you know where the money is going today. And oh yeah, and then we'll cut taxes for rich people, and then we will uh, probably have to increase taxes on the middle class in order to realize his vision, which is balancing the budget in 30 years. Now I can do better than that, I'll tell you. You know, and Democrats uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of a lot better than that, better for people, and moving us toward fiscal responsibility. And then just one other thing I'll leave you with, and those two other things. One is in making calls. Uh, if you, this is not, uh, you know, if you live in Eugene or South Eugene, it seems like a very, very blue state. If you live in Portland, it seems like a huge blue state because it's a bigger area. But, uh, you know, you don't have to go far. I drove down to uh, Southern Douglas County last night to meet with the Dems down there at the Alpha Lagos Center, and, you know, all the way down I-5 or, you know, my opponent's signs are Robinson. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, uh, this is, you know, a state which is very much in many ways a, a swing state. President Obama looks really good good at this point, uh, but it isn't going to do the president a tremendous amount of good uh, if, you know, the foundation is gone, whether it's the foundation of the House or the Senate. Uh, I have colleagues who are very, very much a shared brand, good friend of mine came into Congress uh, just after I did, uh, a senator from Ohio. They have spent in these independent campaigns so far when I, well, the last time I saw them, which was two weeks ago, $16 million against them. $16 million. Sandy Baldwin in Wisconsin, I've served with her for a number of years. She'd be a great senator. Uh, they, they are spending a pile of independent money there. And then, of course, the Ryan happens to be running his campaign there, too. So, special emphasis on Wisconsin, which is a swing state. So, calls are being made into those swing states are not only going to help the president, they're going to help, uh, help us keep the Senate uh, and help us win some very competitive House races uh, around the country. But just think of one other thing, if that isn't all enough to motivate you, I'm sure it isn't, you don't need much motivation because you're already here, but if you can help motivate more people to be involved, that would be great. Register more people to vote, that would be great. Uh, but just think of the Supreme Court. We have one elderly justice uh, who uh, at 90 may retire, and that gives uh, the Republicans, uh, if they take the White House, an opportunity to deny us justice in this country for generations to come, because that is what we are seeing, is the denial of justice, a politicized Supreme Court, starting out with the, the Gore versus Bush decision, and then the Citizens United decision, and then there are a host of whole other decisions that have been incredibly important, where we are eroding consumer rights, uh, potentially massive uh, changes in civil rights and civil liberties as relates to women, they're picking up uh, uh, cases this year on, on, uh, on gay marriage, uh, you know, this is a, you know, this is a pivotal body in this country, and we need President Obama to be choosing the next Supreme Court justice, or maybe two, if one of those white wing curmudgeons decides to. Work hard, and uh, and we will all have a better country for it. Thanks very much.